Mic check, mic check. Welcome back to another episode of Sip the Tally Presents Draft Prospects. Uh, today we're going to look at Ross Pierce Baker from uh, University of Alabama. Uh, played center all this year, but I looked back at an old film from last year, and he played a little guard. So this guy can play uh, left guard, right guard, and center for whatever team that uh, picks him up in the draft. Uh, you know, people are clamoring. With uh, my Ravens, people are clamoring that we need a guard. Potentially may need a guard. Hey, I think I found a guy that may fit that need. Uh, maybe a second, third round guy. Looks pretty solid to me, but let's get into it so I can show you what he's, what he's about. First play, um, and this is him right here playing center. And on all these films, he'll be center, number 71. And this guy right here is Jeffrey Simmons. Potential top 15, top 20 pick. And uh, against Alabama, uh, Ross kind of had a pretty good day against him. But let's get into it and see what happens. Uh, this is straight pass pro against him. He gets, a, he gets a little push from the guard, but it doesn't really matter. He just stands him up, moves his feet. Good job moving his feet. Doesn't give up any um, pressure. I actually kind of gained some ground on it. Good job of moving his feet. Doesn't have, doesn't have dead feet. Now, even though you know Simmons made the tackle, but that was a QB scramble, so that really doesn't matter. And I got like 13 plays, so we're not going to spend a lot of time on each play. So let's kind of get on through it. Next play, uh, working the second level. So this time you're going to see Ross work the second level. That guy stepped in, so there's no need to touch him. He now belongs to the left guard, and I'm going to work up to number six. I think number six is Willie Gay. Worked up to number six. And what's interesting about this is Ross is, um, I think, 6'4", six, 6'3", six, something up in there, like 309, something like that. This dude right here is, a, is almost a sprinter. This kid is super fast, and watch how he uses angles to cut him off. Okay, now, he, if it's a straight line, he know he's going to beat him. But watch how he keep working this way so he can cut him off. And then the running back's going to cut right off that good block. Good job of using the angles. Great job. Understand the angles. This was part of working the second level about because those linebackers normally going to be better athletes than those linemen. But if they're smart enough to use them angles and beat them to the point, they should be good. Next play, uh, got a down block. He's going to down block to the right. See if he's going to bite the shoulder pad. There it is. Face on shoulder pad. Now watch what happens. You're going to watch him on down and finish him out. Clean him on up. Never even part of the play. You get that head in the right spot and, 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 and use leverage, you can't be beat unless you just some kind of way get off balance. All right, this one has bad hat placement. The hat on that side, but watch it's going to flip. It's in the right spot now, but watch he's going to get cross-faced. But good thing he has most of the man, and um, running back's kind of able to run through that arm tackle a little bit. But he has the head on the right side initially. He just has to keep to work his head on this left side, but he gets cross-faced right there. Well, right there. Because uh, the defensive end, I mean, the defensive tire uses a little rip move, whatever you see his hand, on, arm go under. He gets to the other side. But it's simply just moving your feet. Keeping your, head, keeping your head on this left side, moving your feet, working up, because you know where the play going. And just kind of turn just a little bit to keep that leverage. Still not a bad play. He just got his head on the wrong side. Still not a bad play. All right, anchoring versus the bull rush. Obviously, this is pass pro. And sometimes, you know, you get bull rushed by these interior guys. Sometimes they give you a move. Well, this is what happens against uh, bull rush. Now, here comes the bull rush. You just sit your butt down and hold your ground. Sit your butt down and hold your ground. And this guy's here. He's not giving much effort because his eyes are looking down here. So he's just there just in case. This is all the center. He ends up being a, you know, pass down to the one. Good job against the bull rush. All right, now this one. Now, like I said, all plays, not good plays. These guys, they don't communicate well, and they pass up a, a first-level defender. So he's stepping, looking somewhere else. He peeks at it but doesn't do anything to it, so he's just going to give him a shoulder bump, which is right there. And both trying to go to the second level. And look, look at that. Pressure. Pressure. Four, bounce Makes this guy bounce and leads him right to a... Uh, Alley feeling safety. Because they all plays not good plays. And, you know, they're going to give you what they got. They just, just simple miscommunication. Nothing wrong technically. It's just simple miscommunication between the center and the left guard. And um, it results in a play being bounced. But he still got 
three, four, five yards because they got backs that can do that. Uh, picking up a twist. This one you have outside zone to the right. All right. Simmons is going to kind of come here toward the tackle. Uh, this is Jerry. Yeah, this is Jerry. He's going to loop back in on a stunt. And Ross is going to pick him up all the way over here, probably right here where, where Simmons is right now. Look at that. He looped in there. He picked it up. Now still like inside, I mean outside zone. Nothing's changed. Got that. Got, got him on this side here. You got these two man, mano y mano. That's the tackle going up to the linebacker, and you got Earl Smith out here to run to the safety. Look at that, look at that gap, it's pretty, because he turns back, you know, to keep the leverage. Hit and go. Was that Jacobs? I think. It's a good job. Now I was watch. I did what two films on some Oklahoma linemen. Uh, these Alabama linemen look pretty good too, also as a unit. Even though I know they say Oklahoma was the best uh, O line in the country, this Alabama O line looked pretty darn good. Combo one. That's what I like. I'm an inside zone person. I love inside zone. Need guys that can combo and work up to the second level. So now, what's gonna happen is you get we getting four hand we getting two hands on the inside here, and both of these outside arms are gonna be free with eyes on this guy. So both of these guys should work to 94, and both of their eyes should be on this guy. If he feels this way, 65 should take him. If he feels this way, uh Ross should take him. Let's see what happens. All right, they both both hands on there, hip to hip almost like it should be. Linebacker starts to feel. I'm gonna come off. Bam. Keep it secure. That's what it is right there. Come on to the mic. Uh, come on to the uh, Sam Wheel. Love it. Uh, mano a mano pass pro. This is Simmons again. Some kind of like RPO, but it's still man on man. Look at that. Good job of uh, just neutralizing it. And I'm telling you, 94 is a, a potential top 10, well, not top 10, maybe top 15, top 20 pick. And, and Ross is doing a job on it. Board drills. Everybody know board drills, right? Let's see board drills on the field. Here's our center right here. Here's Ross. Notice I keep just saying his first name. <laughs> board drills on the field. Look at that. Low back. Driving your feet. One more time. Low to flat back, dry your feet, dry your feet, dry your feet. Love it, love it. Keep in mind, this guy plays plays guard also. He was a guard on this team last year, not just a center. All right, this is a bad down block. Didn't bite the shoulder pads. Now he's face to face. He's gonna get beat because this now you give the defensive lineman a two way go. He can go in or out, and especially if he if he extend on it, if he punch and get some extension, you give him a two way go. Now he got away from him. Now he's just creating chaos. Watch how it clouds the whole run up. See that all that? Just clouds the whole run up. Let me play it back from the jump. So you can see it in real time. Because of the missed down block, just watch what happened to the, happens to this run. Just a ball them up. I think you get a loss on the play. One of the few players they got a loss on. All right, this one. Find and work. Find and work. All this is is they have it out. They run an outside zone or stretch to the left, and you run your track. And until something shows up, you keep running your track. And when something gets in your track, you run through it or run over it. Nothing there still, because with him going backside, he now belongs to the guard. It's up to the guard to get his hat on this side if he can. Nothing still. Still running this track. Nothing still. Up oh, linebacker shows up in my track. Bang on him. That's what it is. You know, he just had the running back just having to get caught from behind. All right. Now, this is one of the few plays Simmons did get in and create a muck. It's going to be a uh, stretch again to the right or outside zone to the right, whichever. I don't know how they're calling it. But um, he's going to be out leveraged. And the reason he gets out leveraged because he doesn't get any depth on his outside zone steps or stretch steps, whatever they're calling it. He just goes flat this way and Simmons beats him to the point. Had he got any depth and kind of made it like a hooking motion where he can get his head to the other side. He may give up a half a yard or a yard, but he get his head in the right spot, and then the running back can cut off him. Flat step. Now, Simmons ain't no slouch now. Ross has been winning most of this game, but this guy is not a slouch, so eventually he was going to win some of these battles. But he did, he did do a good job of just not quitting on the play and finishing. Okay, he's beat. His gap is penetrated. So I'm going to just keep running him, and hopefully the running back can cut off of it. Which will happen, but they just happen to have linebackers that'll feel on that play. Again, this is Coach Evans. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share.
See you next time.